Okay, so first, collision quality continuous, so that way it's just like, it's way more accurate. Physics iteration, I set the 8 to save a lot of FPS. So hovering highlights, this one's very important. Uh, disabled, toggle whether selection, freezing, and wire highlights are drawn or not. Very, very useful for recording. Video settings, I have full screen, V-Sync enabled, frame limit 60, just to like stop stuttering. V-Sync on, obviously, yeah, because that stops stuttering. Brightness 110, tone mapping modern, anti-aliasing disabled, and simplified background tiles enabled. May help decrease compression artifacts in screen recordings. So as you can see, uh, I did not mean to do that. Um, poor guy's arm. One important role that I forgot, hide my cursor. So now we are in OBS and you can see what I forgot to do. So now you gotta go to game capture. Um, capture cursor, uncheck, almost forgot. So now that there's no cursor, now it looks like it's just like animation. It's like puppetry. Now you could just like use them as puppets and make them fight. Now let's hop into the video editor and show you guys how to edit the video. I switched video editing softwares before I was using Vegas Pro at the time because I thought that was easier until I decided to take the step forward and learn Premiere Pro. New item, sequence, settings, change the frame size to 1080 by 1920 so it's a vertical. It says there's no option to change to 60 FPS. What is this? It's right under here and then you go 60 FPS. I also use a thing called metal which allows you to clip as you can see, this is some unedited footage of my shorts I was making yesterday. But let's just say, for example, this. Keep existing settings. Delete. Always make sure you max out the volume if you're using metal to clip. People playground as well. Since it's all slow motion, I do have to speed it up. Yeah, it's 100% slow motion. Okay, so we have to speed this up. Probably around 300. It kind of sounds like normal pitch now. <laughs> Except for that. See, it's pretty nice when it's sped up. Now, we just animate this. I just kind of like find good spots to put like the camera angle. Um, for me, I have key binds to crop and cut, like key bind shortcuts. And then you just cut to where whatever you want. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. But yeah, that was a pretty smooth cut. So, as you can see, I just cut a few times, move camera, cut, move camera, speed up footage, and it looks pretty neat. With all that being said and done, you get the idea. We render this. Um, normally, I'll add, like, no copyright music or YouTube music, library music in the background of my shorts and 60 FPS, more, render at maximum depth, Rand use maximum render quality. Um, change the bitrate up as much as you can. Now it should do its thing. As you can see, it's all smooth. It's not smooth enough. So what we need to do is we need to open a program called Blur. I don't remember where I downloaded it from, which is annoying because I would love to link it. If you guys could find it, let me know and I'll link it. That's called Blur and you want to drag the video that you rendered into Blur. And then it's going to render in like motion blur. See, it's like boom. We're done. Very good. Okay, so now we close that out. We could close that out now. Short for tutorial. Obviously, if I was actually making a video out of this, I would try a little bit harder on the puppet, on the puppeteering. <laughs> Very nice. But yeah, people playground. Thank you.